Okay, directions, let's get there quick. There we go. All right, there we go. Start, start navigation. Okie dokie, five minutes away. Well, that's not far at all. Now let's get going. Um, what? Um, how's that? I can't see. I can't see. Dang it. I guess I just have to listen to it. Oh, yes, that is much better. Look at that. Oh, yeah. How's it going, everybody? Hope you're having a most wonderful day. As you've seen from the opening clip, today we're going to be discussing something that all 5th Gen Camaros have, and that's a problem with where to put necessity items such as cell phones, GPS, iPods, stuff like that. There's a little slit in the, the center console in between the cup holders and everything, but that your phone will fit perfect in there, and I actually think that's what it's made for. But, if you have a 5th Gen, you don't have the heads up or in dash GPS units like the newer cars do, like the 6th gen, and so on and so forth. So to handle that situation today, we're going to be opening, unboxing, installing, and reviewing a product that I was contacted by on Instagram. What is that product? Well, it's in this box. And I am certain by now you have seen them. They're everywhere on, the, on Instagram, YouTube, and everything. The reason they're everywhere is, well, number one, they're marketing the way they're doing it right now is top-notch. I mean, they're going out there, they're saying, here's our product, look at it, what do you think? And everybody seems to be really, really enthused about it. And the second reason that you see them everywhere is because everybody is enthused about them. Uh, what it is, is I was contacted on Instagram from a company called ProClip USA. And they asked if I did reviews, and I was honest with them. Yes, I do reviews. And I've been slow in making it. I, I am. I, I'm probably three weeks late in making it. But there's two reasons for that. Number one is I had some issues going on that I had to take care of. There's just no way around it. And number two is if I had my choice, I had my druthers, I would rather be a little late on this product reviewing it. I know. I'm sorry to you, ProClip USA, but I'm just being honest. There's so many people out there right now doing these to where I don't want to just seem like I'm another one of the crowd. You know what I'm saying? If that makes any sense. Like, just take a thousand of them, throw them out there, whoever picks them up, do a review, you know. Because my reviews are going to be honest. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you. If I like it, I'm going to tell you. So, I, you know, it's very important to me that that comes across. So let's get this thing opened up and I'll show you what's all in it. Now this one, they have many, many models and they have a bunch depending on your phone, uh, if it has a protective case on it, uh, like I said, cell phones, GPS, iPods, it runs the gamut, they have all kinds. So when we were picking out the one for mine, well, Samsung 7, they need to know that. I also have a protective case on it, so that, that changed the, the uh, mounting, the holder, because I have an OtterBox on it, one of the best protectors out there in my opinion. And no, I'm not sponsored by them either. <laughs> but, um, and it's the Defender, which is an extra thick, extra big protective case. Because, let's face it, if you do the type of work I do, which is mechanic work, you know, you stick it in your pocket, pull it out when you get a message or anything, you're going to drop it. It's going to happen. I didn't drop mine so many times when my phone looks like brand new. But with all that regard, with all that set aside, they need to know what kind of phone you have, if you have a protective case and all that. So we went through it and that's what I've got in this box. Doo -doo -doo -doo. The guy was super friendly through the messages and I've contacted him and really great customer service and everything. And I, I, I already see an extra I didn't know I was going to get. First thing up, at ProClip USA. And there's actually a little, uh, I don't want to say cards, but just got that in there too. I'll get that out and check it out here in a minute. But what you come for is the product, okay? Shipping labels, or well, packing this rather. 
and then you get the mount to mount it in your car, right? And then you get the actual holder. And the cool thing about this that I've noticed that I may be mistaken. I haven't really checked into it, but the way it looks, the way it's designed is, if you have the mount, you can actually change out the head for different things. Like, I got the one, they have three different ones. They've got one that for my car that goes down by the center console on the opposite side. Then they've got one that goes right at the vent, which is the one that I've got. And I forgot the other one. I'm sorry. I had it right on the tip of my tongue and front part of my mind. I guess it just fell off. But anyhow, you get the base, it looks and appears, and I'll have to check into it, that you can swap out the holder, right? Get the base, swap out the holder. So like if I'm using my phone today, going on a trip, navigation, whatever, tomorrow I want to do my iPod, listen to my tunes in the car, right? But the reason I got this one, I'll show you when we get out in the car, and yes, we're going out to the car. The reason I got this one is, <clears throat> And I'll put a picture, I'll insert a picture right now of all three options so that you can see. But I got the one that actually goes up on the on, on the center con on the center dash and faces me. That way when I'm driving down the road, I don't have to take my eyes, I can just quick glance, you know. If there's something I need, like if I'm using GPS, I can just quick glance. Or if I'm sitting at a traffic light or whatnot, and the phone goes off, I can quickly look and see who it is. Or if I get a message, I can sit there and never ever take my hands off the wheels and pay attention to what's in front of me, which is, number one, it's very important, you know, because safety is always there. Who cares what is on that message? Well, who cares who is calling you if you're in a wreck? It's not going to matter. If you lose your life going down the road, what does it matter what was on that phone? Was it really that important that you had to die? So, pro clip has addressed that by making some very ingenious uh, holders and mounts for their car, for your cars, and keeps you from fiddling, you know, over in the seat trying to text while you're driving. Keeps you from sitting here looking over at your GPS. It's right there if you get this type. So let's uh, get it open. I'm gonna read the instructions. Then we're gonna go out to the car and mount it. Okay, like I said, they gave me a thank you card. Nice little message from Cody. Thank you very much, Cody. Got my Pro Clip USA shirt. Three decals. Love decals. Who doesn't like decals, right? Got the part that goes up on the dash. The, I guess you would actually call it the base. The instructions showing how to put it in and all that good stuff. The screws to mount everything, right? Make everything solid, make it mount. And then the instructions. And as you can see, this is for a 2012 Camaro, as, as stated. But it's pretty simple. Here's it. We'll go out to the car in a minute. But I give you these two little plastic panel removers, and you stick it up under the, the center speaker area, right? Just pry it up a little bit. And then you're going to take this, stick this part right here up under the speaker panel. Then you're going to push down and pull out at the same time. And then it's actually going to latch under this piece right here. And it has two pieces of sticky back. Uh, double sided tape. Which will help hold it on that corner. Keep it from bouncing and moving around and everything. And then all you do is you take this. I got to do it yet. Got to loosen the two center screws up. Widen it to where to fit my foam. Tighten it back down. And then once we get this put in the car. Mount this to it. That's all there is to it. Slide your phone down in it, you're good to go. How, I mean, it, then they give you an alcohol pad to wipe off where the sticky back's gonna go. But I mean, how much simpler can that be? So let's get the, uh, the holder set up for my phone, and then we'll go out to the car and get it in. Okay, all you need is a small Phillips screwdriver. See if you can see that. And the cool thing about these, the whole base rotates. I mean, you can spin it and swivel it any kind of way you need. And of course it's a little stiff right now because it's new, but that's okay. That'll get worn out. Very, I mean, broken in very quickly. Open up my little pack of screwdrivers that I keep inside. All you do is loosen it. You don't take them out all the way. 
and then see how it spreads open I'm going to tell you so far just handling this piece you know you can get many items through Instagram through YouTube Walmart phone stores even the ones that you get at your local phone store plastic feels really cheap right I mean it can't it's mass produced in China and everywhere else but it just feels really cheap this has a and, and you can see it if I can get it to show up in the video it has a textured um, feel to it it's not a real slick plastic like say this this is the back side the machine side well that's the unmachine that's the machine I'm sorry but this is the unmachined side and see how slick that is well the front is machined and it has a textured feeling to it and the holder has a textured feeling also it's really cool I mean it's the little small things that make doing something like this enjoyable if that makes any sense at all because you you work and pay for these cars they're expensive number one even it doesn't matter what level you have you take your hard-earned money to buy the car and then you take your hard-earned money to buy this and you know attention to details like like the way it feels the ease of putting it in makes all the difference in the world and and the way you feel about the product and it adds to the excitement of your car so now look back to this here if I can hold on to it without dropping it as you can see the defender is a pretty wide protector otter box like I said and this is going to take up almost a complete thing now the cool thing with the otter box is it has these little side pegs so I can actually leave it just snug I don't want it tight because I don't want to wear out the rubber so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to widen it all the way up right trying to do this and keep it in camera widen it all the way up I'm going to lay it in there to about where I want because you know I want my camera to show so as I'm driving down the road I can sit there and, and use it if I need to and yeah it's about there once I get it to where I want it I'm going to snug it down right just snug it and then slide the phone back out at the top without moving anything take the screw driver tighten it back down just one screw the reason I'm doing one screw is because I want to make sure it's still going to fit right look at that needs to be just a hair tighter so now I'm going to put just a little bit of pressure on the bottom one not pushing it in just holding it and tighten it up right now we triple check it. slides right in look at that doesn't fall out doesn't do it and I am holding it just by the back right the swivel look at that but in and out simple look at that so simple and like I said if you're sitting there doing a phone call and you turn it sideways cool how much simpler can that be now that that is set we're gonna have to get out to the car and mount this bad boy but but double check always make sure everything is snug and then out we go all right guys and gals I am so sorry about having to have the car running with the air conditioning on but got people out behind me mowing grass in the yard next door and everything so we're just gonna roll with it but here's what you're gonna have as I was stating you're gonna have to lift this up ever so slightly it's gonna go under there right you're gonna push it under and as you've got it under there you're gonna take your finger and pull out and pull down and it's gonna snap right there, right under there right it's on the wrist on those two spots and then basically just using gravity for right now it's going to set just like that and then your phone will be right there yes it's going to be blocking a little bit of air but it's not so obtrusive to where it's going to be blocking all of it i mean come on you can't have everything right so with that said we've got to get this mounted first so all you're going to do is take two little tabs like i was stating right you're going to stick it under there do not pry, pry up with your finger you can break this if you go too far so just take it put one right under the corner and it's made like a wedge go right under the corner like so and then under the front like so and you can maneuver it as you need to 
push it in, push it out. Don't go too far. You know, you don't want to mess up what's behind there. And then once you get that, you're going to take your isopropyl wipe and wipe the dash off. Now once it dries, as you can see, it's got like, I got my sunroof open so you can see it better. It's got like a hook. What you're going to do is you're going to go under this and pull back, right? Under and pull back. And that will latch it up against that piece under there. And if you need to go a little bit further with it, just turn it sideways. Don't stick it under there any further. Just turn it kind of sideways. And it'll go right under. Push it until you hear it snap and it's in place. Pull your little wedges back out. Get it about where you want it. I mean, you can only go over so far with it. Once you do that, finger under, pull out, push down. And it's gonna be a tight fit. You gotta push right in the middle of it. There it is. Sturdy as it's gonna get. Once you get that, you're gonna take a small screwdriver and stick it in this hole and loosen the screw all the way up. Now the screw won't come out, you're just gonna loosen it all the way up, right? Once you get it so loose, you sit there and pull this apart. Because now what you have to, and see the screw won't fall out. They've got it designed to where it won't. Now what you have to do is you have to mount this to this piece, okay? And that comes with the attached screws. Or provided screws, not attached, provided. Now all you got to do is find the holes that are going to line up with it. Which will be these four on mine, because that's the way I'm going to have it. And attach it to that. Get your screwdriver. And your mounting plate. Line up the hole. And I may have to get a different screwdriver, I don't know. We'll see. Start one, don't tighten it. Take another one. Same thing, start it, do not tighten it. Start that one, do not tighten it. Put the fourth one in, and once you get it started, then go ahead and tighten everything down. Now I'm going to give you a tip. Before you mount this, before you put it under this speaker cover, be certain to go ahead and pull your blue tape off. If you don't, it is a bear to get off, like I did. <laughs> but tighten everything down. Once you get that tightened down, get your mount. Go ahead and start your screwdriver in the screw. Make sure that everything's lined up on the back like so. That way when you put it on there, right? And if you look, you can see that there's a square cutout, right? There's a square cutout. And a square piece sticking out on this. There. So what you need to do is stick your screwdriver in, in the hole, right? Get it in the screw head. And then you're gonna want to take your finger on the back as you hold everything and try to get that square piece lined up straight up and down like so because that has to go back over that to lock it into place okay so you want it to be as straight as you can get it then you're going to take it and you're going to start your screw and then you're going to take it and push in on it and that should seat that ball back you can kind of wiggle it as you do it. It should seat that ball back to where when you tighten it down it'll stay put. Like so. So now it's not loose. Now all you do is you take your phone, set it where you want it. Voila, right there it is. How simple is that? And don't worry about the squeaking, that'll that'll go away over time. Like if you're sitting in somewhere 
you want a wider direction field, you can turn it that way. You're sitting there, you're going down the road, talking to people, hands-free through your, your Bluetooth. Finished. How simple can that be? Now, ProClip, I will say this. And like I said, I'm going to tell you if I like it, I'm going to tell you if I don't. I love how easy this is to put in. But I'm a car guy. Okay, I don't like this going underneath the speaker cover. There has to be some other kind of way to do that because over time, you know what's going to happen. This plastic panel is going to heat up in the sunlight and it's going to have a little bow right there. Now, like I said, that's just me being a car guy. Most people won't even care, but I do. So if you could... That is my only complaint about this product. If you could find some kind of way to get rid of that, mm, perfecto. But it works really good, guys. Like, like I said, it's good quality. That'll quieten down the more you use it. It's good and sturdy. Just have to get rid of that little squeal. All right, guys, there you have it. That's about as easy as an installation I've ever seen in my life on the car product. They have put so much time and thought into this product. You can really tell the way that it feels in your hand and the way that it installs in the car that they have put a lot of thought into these products. And like I said, I mean, rather than sitting here having to lean over, you know, flip, do this, driving, hitting your phone and everything, the phone is literally sitting right there, driving down the road. Bloop, message goes off. Quick glance, see who it is. Keep going. Boop. Another message. Quick. Oh wait, I need to get that message. Well, let me pull over. Pull over. Slide it out. Take care of the mail. Or you can leave it right there if you're real good like that. But I like to hold mine when I type. Or like if, like I said, if you're going to, we like to go to the mountains. So I always use my phone for GPS purposes, rather than breaking out standalone GPS. You know, these do everything now, right? So I can sit there and I can turn it sideways, horizontal, and have widescreen GPS on my phone. Or this just so happens in the 2012, it sticks up high enough to where I can use my camera and get an over the hood scoop shot, which is an added benefit. I really like that. Again, it is well made. It is well thought out. I highly recommend it to anybody because like I said, the cheap ones that you get at the phone stores, they don't compare. I mean, it's, it's night and day difference. And then if you go somewhere like Walmart and get a universal one, you know how they are. They never grip right. They wear out. The little rubber piece that holds your phone or your GPS or whatever you're using, sliding it in and out, it wears the rubber out. And then all of a sudden it doesn't work. It's just, and you hit the gas and it falls over, you know. My only pet peeve, ProClip, and like I said, it's, it's not a big thing. It's just me. And this is no way near bashing ProClip products because outside of this in my mind it's perfect but if you just had a way to mount it to where it didn't have to go under that speaker cover it would be absolutely perfect that's just coming from a car guy i'm sorry i know <laughs> i know it sounds redundant i know it sounds particular it sounds ridiculous that i would even mention it but i am telling you this pro clip to try to help you make it um not better because it is a truly great product, but to evolve it and change it to where it would fit everybody. You know what I'm saying? If that makes any sense. You have a great product if you just change that one little thing. And I know you do it to make it sturdy. I know why you're doing it, but if there's some other kind of way to do it, if not, then we'll just have to be happy with the way it is because it really is a great product, guys. I would strongly, strongly urge you to get one of these. And I'm not saying that because they sent it to me. Like I said, I told them straight up from the beginning. I'm going to be honest. I really like this product. And here's how you could tell I liked it. If you notice when I first put it up there, I still had the blue tape on it for the double-sided tape. The reason I did that, and I'm going to be totally honest with you, my subscribers, as I always am. The reason I did that if I put it up there and I didn't like the way it looked or I didn't like the product or whatever, 
I could take the product back off, put it back in the box, and ship it. Well, lo and behold, once I put it up there and test fit everything, because I wanted to make sure, you know, I knew what I was doing before I told you. <laughs> but I test fit everything, I'm like, man, I really like this product. Well, then I had to fight and get the blue tape off because I didn't want to pry up on my speaker cover and risk breaking it because any of you that know and have watched any of my videos know that I broke my dash cover on my black Z28 by prying up on it and doing stupid crap. So I did not want to take any chance of that happening with this. <laughs> so I fought and pulled the double-sided tape off, stuck it down to my dash. And man, let me tell you, this thing is so rock solid and looks so good sitting in the car. It, it, it actually looks like it belongs in the car, except for going under the speaker cover. Pro Clip USA, you've got a winner. I like it so much, I'm going to be ordering one for my Tahoe. Yes, I am going to order one for my Tahoe. That's how much I like it, guys. When it comes, I'll show you. It'll take a couple weeks. i got to get the money up and everything. Got a few bills and stuff going in it. Anyhow, I'm going to be ordering one. That's how much I like it. So until next time, you guys take care. Get out there and enjoy your car. Pro Clip, keep up the great work. Keep making great products. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Just a lie.